Hey, what's up? My name is Steven Mayu, and in this video series, I walk you through the React challenges at FreeCodeCamp.com. We're on the second project, Build a Camper Leaderboard, and in the last video, I just introduced the topic uh, of the project to you. Uh, I talked about some of the user stories, and um, I think uh, one of the user stories is a little... Um, a little confusing. Uh, anyway, we're going to um, you know, follow the example um, that uh, Free Code Camp gives us on CodePen and build something functionally similar to that. Um, now, in, in the first project, we built um, we built our application in CodePen, but I don't want to do that for uh, the subsequent videos in this course. Um, why? Well. I mean, CodePen, it does make things, you know, really easy and, uh, and convenient to set up, um, but you only get one JavaScript file to work with. And, uh, you know, when you're building React applications, it's a good idea to follow, you know, convention and to try to modularize your code and um, keeping everything in one like God file is going to be, you know, really, really messy. And also in the real world, I mean, real developers, um, I mean, they, they don't develop apps in CodePen. They use their, you know, uh, uh, their local dev environment, a uh, text editor to, to make, you know, applications. So uh, I'm going to give you a taste of, you know, how React applications are built outside of the CodePen ecosystem. Um, not saying CodePen is, you know, bad. I think it's great. It's it's a really nice tool. But um, let's go ahead. Let's graduate and uh, take off the training wheel, so to speak. Um, now it's notoriously difficult to set up. Um, you know, a React application on your own. So I highly recommend that you use some boilerplate, some uh, pre-written code to help you get up and running. Um, there's this one instructor, I've taken his courses on Udemy. His name is Steven Grider. You can see it right here. This is his GitHub profile. And he has a boilerplate that I think is just wonderful. It's, um, it's super awesome, easy to use, and uh, we're going to use his for the project. And, you know, if you really want to learn React and like Redux like really, really well, like Steven Grider, he's the man. So you got to go to udemy.com, check out his, um, you know, his courses by searching for his name and uh, everything that he does. I, I think I've bought all of his courses. They're just absolutely fantastic. But anyway, let's get started. Uh, we have um, his popular repositories. I want you to click on the first one. It's called Redux Simple Starter. We're not going to use Redux for this application, but um, it's fantastic for our purposes. So go to Redux, and uh, we're going to uh, clone this repo uh, to our machine. And uh, before you proceed, uh, you need to have Git installed on your computer. So if you don't have it installed, um, you just, you know, uh, you can find something, um, you know, on Google really, really quickly to help you, you know, get set up um, with the with the Git installation. It's pretty easy on Mac, Windows, Linux, whatever you have. So just go online, follow the installation uh, instructions. And you're also going to need Node installed on your computer. So you can get there by going to nodejs.org. And um, uh, I would um, um, you know, get this version 4.6.1. Um, really simple to do as well. Just click on it, follow the instructions. There's like tons of websites out there that tell you how to do it. Um, so anyway, before you do, um, you know, anything else, make sure Git is on your computer and Node as well. Okay, if you have that already done, wonderful. We're going to close these things. We're going to go back to uh, the Redux Simple Starter page on GitHub and make sure that we have it here. Okay, now I'm going to go to my terminal, and right now I'm just in a project called React Projects. So um, uh, most of my React projects go in this folder. And we're going to type this command. I'll blow it up so you can see it more easily. So we're going to type git clone. We're going to paste in the URL that we copy from Stephen, Stephen Greider's uh, GitHub profile, and uh, we're going to give it a, a new name. Uh, oops. Uh, so let's call this, um, I'm going to call it FCC Leader Board. 
Okay, and we're going to uh, press enter, and wonderful. So now we have uh, that boilerplate in our project. We're going to CD, that means change directories, into FCC leaderboard. Okay, so now we're in there, and I'm going to clear this by pressing Command K. And I'm going to open this in my favorite text editor, which is Atom. You can go ahead and use Sublime or Microsoft Visual Studio, uh, whatever you want to use, but I'm going to use Atom in this. Okay, and I just do that by typing Atom space period, and that opens up my uh, project in the Atom editor. That's pretty cool. It takes a couple of seconds for Atom to load up. Uh, all right, that's quite nice. Okay, good. And uh, you can see right here um, that we already have some uh, boilerplate code already set up for us, which is wonderful. Now, I'm going to walk you through this architecture and explain you know, some of the files and folders um, uh, that we need to get comfortable with. But while we're doing that, I want us to install some dependencies in the background. Um, if you go to your package.json, uh, this is basically a, a file that all you know node applications use, and it's going to look at this list of dev dependencies and uh, dependencies. And this is software that we use to um, the software that was built by other developers, and we just import them into our own uh, projects. So in order to do that, um, and in order to run this project, we need to type this command, npm install, and press enter. And that's going to take about 30 seconds, maybe up to a minute. So let's go back to the text editor here. All right, so this is our package.json uh, file. And, you know, most full-stack JavaScript projects and your React uh, applications and everything like that, that they're going to need uh, this package.json. And it's got a lot of information in here. But the most important thing is uh, our list of dev dependencies and um, other dependencies. And you can see that we have React and React Redux and React Router and um, Redux and all sorts of stuff. We're not necessarily going to use, you know, all of these things. And, you know, this is just a boilerplate. So it's just kind of like a template for, um, for you know, most React applications. Um, but anyway, it's um, still installing, so it takes a while. Um, okay, so most of the coding that we're going to do, in, in fact, I, I would say all of the coding for this course is going to be done in this directory called SRC or source. So that's right there. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll go into it in just a moment. But this is all of the, um, where we'll write all of our code. It's going to be in this directory. Um, style is quite simple. It has um, just our CSS file right there. Okay. And here's our package.json too. So style, um, the default is just plain old CSS. You can use SAS, you can use less SCSS, whatever you want to do. Uh, just the default here is CSS. Um, and this folder we're not going to use, but it's for testing. Um, and and uh, yeah, I might make a video series on that someday. But um, you know, for for this project, we don't need it at all, so uh, forget about that for right now. Um, for this project too, we're going to also use the newest version of JavaScript, which is known as ES6. And you can't just write, you know, plain ES6 in your um, text editor and expect, you know, all browsers to uh, understand it, you know, you know perfectly. Um, not all browsers are equipped to you know understand and compile ES6 code. So um, you need something called Babel, which will take your ESX code and transpile it into ES5, the previous version of JavaScript, so that all browsers will you know, understand it. And so we kind of configure that up in this file called .babelrc, and then also in this file called webpack. Uh, config.js and uh, webpack that's just this um, really you know 
it's kind of confusing uh, to be honest. I don't quite fully understand it, but um, Webpack, it, it's like a build tool and it, it does a lot of um, you know, repetitive tasks um, that, uh, that aren't a lot of fun to do. Um, and essentially this, this is boilerplate. Steven Grider already wrote it for us and this just helps build our React application and it helps us um, you know, get the ES6 code transpiled into ES5. Um, the, um, the, what am I, so this right here, all right, this is a index.html file. So, uh, that's right here in the root directory. And we have a, a couple of things, um, uh, right here. Um, we're going to change uh, He includes this Google maps API, um, by default, and, uh, we don't need it. So I'm going to uh, get that out. Uh, this is for that CSS file that I showed you earlier, and this is just a CDN link to Bootstrap. So uh, we're probably going to use some Bootstrap classes to, to style up some things later, so we'll leave that in there. Um, container is a Bootstrap class, which is wonderful. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to add just one more divot here. I'm going to uh, give it, um, oops, I'm going to give it a class name of render dash target. Okay, I like that. Um, and then bundle.js. So uh, what is bundle.js? You don't see it here in your uh, directory. Uh, basically Webpack, it will go into our um, entry point, which is in source directory and called index.js. And it will actually build our entire like uh, it'll go out and fetch like all the dozens and hundreds of JavaScript files in our project, and it'll actually bundle it into like one like uh, really ugly and giant like file called bundle.js. And so we're including it here in our HTML file. It doesn't exist yet, but uh, don't worry, it, it'll still work uh, for, for this uh, project. And then finally, the most important thing is our source directory. And actions and reducers, uh, that's more for uh, Redux applications. Uh, we're not going to use it for, um, you know, for this application, so don't worry about it right now. Uh, what, the, what the most important thing is, uh, is the components folder. So uh, we only have one component here. It's our app component, and this might look familiar to you if you uh, watch my first project, Building the Markdown Previewer. And, um, and then here in the index.js, that was sort of our entry point for our Webpack um, build process. Well, here it's just pulling in some, um, some of the required MPN modules uh, that, we, uh, that we installed from our package.json. Um, here is some setup right here, and um, we only need to make one little change, All right? We're going to remove this container. We're going to say dot render target, and we're going to save all of that. So here, all of that HTML, that uh, bundle.js, that big file, it's going to basically get inserted uh, right here in this div called render target. We gave it a class of render target, and uh, and that's what we're doing right here. We're saying, hey, take this entire application and go ahead and render it um, in the div with the class of render target. And that essentially is how a uh, React and Redux application is structured. Um, and, and I really like this boilerplate. Okay, I think by now, yes, uh, I'm looking at everything here. And uh, if, if you installed Node and everything else properly, um, you shouldn't get any error messages. So that is wonderful. Okay, so in the uh, next video, we're going to um, talk about strategy. Uh, we're going to break up our application into different components. And uh, we're going to start uh, just hacking away and coding away. Okay, guys, thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Boop.